When you try to uh, avert the role of pharmaceutical companies by pointing the finger at insurance companies or pointing the front finger at hospitals, I think it is relevant that those systems have much less profitability in them. And that is the reason why we are raising the issue of profitability. If, you, if there was very low profitability, we would all recognize that that would probably be an indication of price. Let's but that variability is why I think there is a lot of anger at high drug prices. Response from well, the other well, side. Well, I mean, we uh -huh. should return, of course, to the question of the debate, which is, should we be blaming pharma for runaway drug, uh, runaway health care costs? Out of control. Right, right. Uh, thank you. Out of control. <laughs> Out of control running away. So, look, it's 16%. It's going to stay at around 15 16%. Look, 500,000 people were hired in the health care sector last quarter. It's not the profitability, it's the base spending that you're talking about, and we're spending much more on hospitals and physician services, so even if a lower rate of increase on a bigger base turns out to be more money, that's why it stays level over time. No, again, well, uh, great question. That really moved things, well, thank you. Uh, Zeke, you, you've been really cooperative lately. <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to respond to the, am I still? This so, so well behaved, uh, uh, just this, for the record. This is, this is as well behaved as I get. So <laughs> look, I think if we want to talk about solutions to the problem, we're happy to talk about solutions. You know, we do agree with Paul that you need to streamline the FDA and they do need to get more resources to approve generic drugs and other drugs more rapidly. As Nira has said, we need more transparency about what goes into that price. How much is government research? How much really is that company's research? How much is the marketing? How much is the profit? And we believe that you should tie the pricing of drugs to how much benefit they produce for patients, including whether they forestall a surgical procedure and forestall a hospitalization. Drug companies don't price, according to that, how much health benefit drugs get. Because if that were true, you would not get $150,000 cancer drugs or multiple sclerosis drugs that don't cure anyone and prolong life two or three months. We want innovation. All of us want innovation. That doesn't mean we want sky-high $150,000 drug Lori, prices. Lori Those Riley are two separable response. issues. Lori Riley. Yeah. Well, I would challenge the notion that companies aren't willing to, to pay and have, be paid based on value. Just yesterday, there was a major deal announced between Aetna and Merck for their diabetes drug, where those drugs will be tied towards value-based outcomes. Amgen and Pilgrim entered into a contract just a few months ago on their new PCSK9. As a representative K9s. of Pharma, would you, agree, would you endorse the idea that we should have all drug pricings be value-based pricing? If you agree, we are on the same side, and I'll move I, over there. I, <laughs> and, and add in their I, I, price transparency. I would argue, well, let's get transparency nearer that patients want. No, 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 don't want. go off the value-based pricing. Just answer that question. I would agree that most come up the drugs yeah. today... <laughs> Zeke, drugs today, more than any other part of the healthcare system, are in part based on value. We have to do lengthy clinical trials where the safety and efficacy products of our medicines are put to True. test. Two thirds of all s drugs submitted to the FDA have comparator data submitted with them today. We then have to go in front of the payers and demonstrate to them the value that our medicines will provide to them. They don't have to cover our medicines if they don't want to. But I will say but you our have a system- and then set the price. Let her finish. We are moving towards a system of value, and a number of our companies have stepped forward and said we're willing to engage in contracts that are focused on outcomes. Is it easy to do? I'll be honest, it's not. And part of the reason it's not is government regulation. Government regulation is stuck in a fee-for-service world, and we're moving towards a value-based system. So I would hope and ask you if you would agree with us that changing some of the current government regulations about how we communicate about our products, what we can do to support patients and ensure they're adherent, are addressed so that we can move more rapidly to that system.